While typhoons, some of the most destructive forces on the face of the earth, and for good reason, we are scared of these uh, storms and really what they can cause and why do we always get worried when we find out one is headed towards us? Well, main reason is they are very, very deadly if you are in front of these storms. Today, we're gonna take a look at actually deadliest typhoons in recorded history across the Western Pacific and Eastern Asia. To start off our list with number five, it actually occurred in 1281 here in Japan, actually in Western Japan, uh, into Hakata Bay, actually the Western portions of Kyushu. Uh, setting sail from Korea, moving across the strait there into Kyushu was 6,000 Mongol ships, which, well, they were abruptly stopped by a typhoon, which is now actually referred to as Divine Wind or Kamikaze. I you know many people have heard that term before, taken into different context, but the original word for it comes from this typhoon, a very historical event because it stopped this force of 6,000 ships. Well, the result though was 60,000, but some totals put it out of 150,000 deaths uh, due to these uh, just the forces getting lost amidst the typhoon. Well, uh, into Japan, they call it the divine wind because it did stop the force and really many people think that if that typhoon did not come along, Japan would have been occupied by the Mongol army, which really already took over much of Korea and China at that time and really was an historical event. But regardless, 60,000 deaths and possibly 150,000 deaths is always a sad story. All right, number four on our list is Typhoon Swatlo, which hit uh, China in 1922. This storm caused between 60 and 70,000 deaths, just an absolutely record breaker. It is named actually after the town that it hit where well, upwards of about five or five to 10,000 deaths actually occurred here and many more in outlying areas just due to a tremendous amount of rainfall. And then that brings us to the most recent storm on the list in 1975. Typhoon Nina slammed into uh, China and originally the death toll, which was still rather staggering, was put at right around 80,000 people. But then just in 2005, numbers came out and China government actually released that it was more like 300 thousand people perished in not just the floodwaters from the, the typhoon itself but in Henan province we uh, saw a dam break here and all the water from that rushed through and it wiped out several villages and well at the time there was a big cover-up trying to cover up the, the fact that this dam broke but really does go to show that not just storms can cause these tremendous amount of damage but just due to the human impact on the world the way we try to control nature at some times well uh, that can result in really deadly outcomes. Now, thankfully, uh, China has come a long way uh, from their dam building in the 1970s, but uh, really on to the uh, Three Gorges Dam, which is the largest dam in the world. If that was to ever break in a very similar situation, very highly unlikely that it would, but the result would actually result in the possibility of millions of lives lost. And the most deadliest typhoon in the Western Pacific, at least in recorded history, in 1881. So this was before there was a naming system, before you had modern day warnings. Well, uh, really into Vietnam is where it took place. It was called Typhoon Haiphong. Now, that was before names were put out. The reason why it's called Typhoon Haiphong is because this is the town or the, the city that was hit the worst and over 100,000 deaths there alone all across the area. Staggering amounts of rainfall took place. And this resulted in the 300,000 casualties as a result of this typhoon. Just absolutely staggering. It really does go to show that how deadly these storms can be, especially in portions of Southeastern Asia where uh, many of the buildings are not built to withstand the destructive force. We saw this in 2012, most recently with Typhoon Bofa that caused over 2,000 deaths. So, uh, well, these storms really can still be deadly. And like I said, the deadliest storm on record was in Bangladesh, and that was in 1970. Recent times, uh, to be honest, where 500,000 people 
uh, perished when a storm came ashore there. So uh, thanks again for watching though everybody. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, you can always post them down in the comment box below. Also uh, click over here if you want to check out my most recent top five, which was the top five strongest typhoons. Not the deadliest typhoons, but the top five strongest ones. Also uh, every Sunday I put out our Sunday vlog, just random uh, shots from around Japan. And uh, every day we have our Westpac weather video update. So thanks for watching though everybody. And as always, Stay safe out there. Bye. Just the music and crows. Music and crows. Nah. Where's the music coming from? Where's the...